Hello everybody, I want to have an episode oh, of Mix Mower. Mower. Got my little Riley boy here. Going to be doing a video today. It's proper cold. It's about minus two at the minute. Um, have got a parcel come in. Uh, this is coming uh, air mail uh, via Air Canada. So um, this has come from um, Steve's small engine saloon. He um, wanted my address to send some bits over for myself and little Riley boy. What we got in here, Riley boy? Uh, what's that there? We've got an old, uh, an old, well done, an old Milwaukee um, sticker, which is cool. Cheers for that. We've got a couple of um, Steve Small Engine Saloon cards. YouTube channel. YouTube channel, yeah, that's right. What's, on, what's the picture on the front? Oh, what's no. that picture? Oh, right. No, it's a chainsaw. We've got chainsaw. Um, I don't know what's in here. What have you got in here? Get around here and have a look. See what you got in there. What you got? Oh, you took me on for a big bit of you. Okay. Hang on. Woo. What's I'm that? there. What is it? What is it? It's a... Uh, yeah, it's, it's a little microfiber cloth. A little microfiber cloth. I'm a wool, a, um, wool bro microfiber cloth. Is that nice and soft on your skin? Isn't it nice? <laughs> We've also got... Yeah, come on, put your hands in there. Take, take it all out. I've got one, one little one. We got for you. Okay, let's have a look at what they say. We've got a little uh, wall bro sticker. I've got loads here. We've got, uh, so, oh, drop one. Pick it up quick, quick. I've uh, got some wall bro um, stickers there. That's because your, your belly's too big because you've been eating Christmas pudding. Um, another little wall bro sticker there, a little tiny one. Uh, these are cool. What's these? Look. Sable um, little car sticker there, which is cool. Uh, Sable is, is a chemical. They're cool. Got two or three of those. Don't often see these sort of stickers because they're in America. Uh, Sable stickers there. So I've got lots of stickers here, Riley Boy, for the old toolbox. How many of those have you got? You've got about 15 of those. They're brilliant. Steve's loaded us right up, hasn't he? You've got loads of stickers. So I've got some more Sable stickers there. Uh, another big Walbro sticker there, which is cool. So I've got loads of stickers for the old toolbox that we can put on later on, Riley Boy. Yeah? Cool. What else you got? Put your hand in there. What else you got? What's that one you got? What's that? Oh, cool. Uh -huh. It's not Hoover, it's a torch. Look, see the lights, look. So we sent us over a little Walbro um, wind-up torch, which is cool. That'd be quite handy for in the old shop, uh, for indoors with Riley Boy. I hope it. Now don't open that one up. That is, is oh, this is, um, these are the, um, the spiral diaphragms. Uh -huh. Cool, hang on two seconds. These are the spiral diaf um, diaphragm kit sets that you can put onto any um, any diaphragm. I've got this one, I've got two or three sets of those. Two or three sets of those. Daddy. Hang on, two seconds. I'm, I'm getting them, mate. He has, he has sent. He has sent a, a massive little parcel. Daddy. He sent us over. Is it three or four? What's that there? Three, three or four, four different Walbro kit sets. K Y T A's, uh, K twos, K fives, and K threes. These are the spiral diaphragm kit sets. How cool is that? Daddy. Yeah. What have I got in my head? A Steve Small Engine Saloon cap. How cool's that? Check that out, Steve. That's proper. <laughs> it's for you. No, that's for you. It's yours. What's that? It's yours. It says on there, Steve's Small Engine Saloon. What's that? And a little stick on the front. Yeah, there you go. Wear that. Wear that with pride. Oh, Daddy. What else you got there, then? It is a handball one. It says, I'd rather be driving my John Deere. Zippo would love that. Love it. <laughs> Zippo absolutely hates John Deere's. Uh, I might send him as a zip. He'd love that. That'd be Daddy, cool. I know. Hang on. Yeah, we've got a love letter I yet. Know. Yeah, let's do a love letter in a minute, shall we? Daddy. We've got a little tiny. What's this one here? I don't know. Uh, a little tiny bulb primer off of a wall, off of a wall probe as well. A little tiny bulb primer. He sent some bits over this lad has. What's that there? Uh, hang on. Uh, an assembly primer. So this is for a, a purge prime um, primer bulb as well. We got what's that on there? You got? I don't know. A bit of torch. Yeah, okay, find out. What is it then? Can you get into it? Uh, hold on a minute, guys. Okay, hold on a minute, guys. Oh, how cool is that? I've got a little magnifying glass with a torch on it. So look, just come here, let me see. Oh yeah, lovely, I can see. A little Walbro magnifying glass um, with a torch on it. That's super cool, we like that. What else? Oh, we've got, um, what's this one here? Oh, that is for that. Um, we've got, we've got a day. Hang on, what's this here? Oh, <laughs> oh it's magnetised. Hang on, let's have a look. Oh, it's magnetised. Yep, pick it up. <laughs> no, I've dropped it. There you go. Hold that one there. Uh, we've got a... Um, Daddy! Daddy! We've got a little Walbro pen here. Oh, no! That's cool. 
Daddy. We like that. What I, th get? I think actually that is actually also used for on the back of PCs or, or iPads as a stylus. Daddy, what do you that's cool. We've got a little tiny screwdriver here for, for doing um, genuine parts wall bro for doing carburetor adjusting. Daddy, if I were not... One more here as well. There's not one of these. I've got a... Got a uh, Hold it. Two seconds. We've got a K4 um, spiral Hold repair it. kit as well there. Hold for those of you who haven't seen those, you, you can um, have them to, to fit any, any diaphragm size. They're really good and Where expensive. No, that's a bit of polystyrene, mate. I don't think there's anything else under there. Bit, hang on, a bit of Canadian, a bit of Canadian polystyrene. That's really rare. You don't get many, many of that. And we've got a love letter from Steve. Let's see what the old love letter from Steve says. Uh, Sir Mick, just a little bling for your boys. Um, spiral diaphragms, all five kits. Uh, the bulbs are UV and ethanol resistant. Um, mis uh, uh, disc um, stickers, fantastic. Um, Mick, the hat and magnifying glass and flashlight are for Riley. Don't get too greedy, mate. Laugh out loud. So they're for you. So the magnifying glass and the torch and the hat, that's all for you. What do you say to Steve? It's a dish. Good boy. Um, uh, if this box shows up in time for Christmas, uh, you could give them as, as a present. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late, Steve, but uh, that's a suppose. Uh, Peace from Canada from Steve. Merry Christmas, um, Riley Buddies. Fantastic. So I've got a nice little love letter there from Steve's Small Engine Salute. So you've got a nice hat. Fantastic. You've got a torch and a magnifying glass. And Daddy got an absolute plethora of, uh, of bits and bobs for uh, doing machine work and whatever. So I was super happy with that. Fantastic. So cheers, Steve. Much appreciated, mate. You are a rock star as always. Uh, there is a parcel heading your way, I believe. It should be there by now, but it looks like the post is severely delayed. Do you like your hat? Yeah. Cool. It does look quite... I, I am envious. I must admit, it is a nice hat. Um, on top of that, what we're going to be doing today, the old mixed mowers van um, is, uh, is due for MOT, and there are a couple of faults on it that I think I've found already, which will, which will fail the MOT. So um, the first thing is someone dinked my van. What's that? Yeah, it's a light. Someone dinked my van in Tesco's. It's a hider. Um, <clears throat> yes, it's a light cluster. Uh, I think someone hit it with a trolley and, uh, and smashed, the, smashed the old lens. I got this from a scrappy, uh, scrapyard. Um, it's got the old uh, security tag on it. You know, the old doodad writing on there. Uh, offside rear light cluster, that's gone. And also the front driver's side um, dip beam lights are not working either. So. We're going to be getting on, going to go down and do that. So uh, we'll get tidied up in here, and then we we'll head down to the old van. Help. And you can definitely help. It's a bit cold though. It is a bit. We've got the heat on in here, and it's freezing outside. Dad, Dad. Oh, what else do we get? Also, I've got another little gift here as well. A Sorry. Baby. Um, I've got some spare parts. I bought some um, uh, four seventy uh, belt belt covers. What Need some of that. And this has just come in from Conquer. Two seconds, mate. Do you, you want to hold it for you? Yeah. Oh, Daddy. Uh huh. You have a magnifying glass here. Yeah. Um, this is coming from Conquer. Which is an old um, is vintage um, lamp stand. Uh, what I want to do, I've got me my fan blade light, and I want to attach it up onto the roof here, so I can have it up here. And oh. so when I'm working on carburetors, I can just bring the light down and, uh, and, and illuminate the carburetors a bit better. So thank you very much, Conk. Uh, your little gift is on your way to Ooh, you. Okay. He wanted um, top conker. He wanted. Um, is he wanted um, a spare. Uh, Lorma airbox, which I which I had spare. So is he muttering? He does come on my live stream from time to is time. He yeah. You? Ge generally, he's roaring drunk when he does that. Good. Fantastic. Right. So yeah, we're we'll get down and get dirty on the old um, mixed mowers mobile because it is due for MOT on Monday. Today is Friday, and uh, I'm not paying thirty five pounds for someone to change a bulb. I can do it myself. And the light cluster is broken and showing a white naked light out the back. So uh, that needs doing as well. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out the mixed mowers mower mobile. Thank you very much. That's yours. All right, here's the old mixed mowers mobile. First one I tested, I don't know, I've got some lights out. It's a five year old girl up. I've had it running already today. It was, uh, it was frozen. Turn the old lights on. Daddy, yeah. Take what have we got? Yeah, we've got a dip, dip bulb out on this side. Okay, so this is one that's damaged. This one just here, look. I put some tape on it, keep the water out. But uh, someone's giving it a dink and it's showing a white light through it. So that would be a complete failure. Um, 
So let's have a quick look inside to see what's involved. This is a five seater van, this one. Um, it's not a complete pickup, we can put the seats down, but uh, I really like it for what it is. So let's bring you inside to show you what's required. Okay, so to change the light cluster is actually quite an easy thing to do. Undo your two tabs and remove your, your cover. And then here you've got one, two, three somewhere, one up here, one at the top to undo. So simply untwist them. Yeah, of course you can't. Go and see Nana, mate, if you're cold. It, it ain't very warm down here. Yeah, all right, mate. I should miss you. Yeah, go and play with a torch from Steve yet. Yeah. You can go and play with it, yeah. Daddy, yeah. You can, you can leave it here for me to, yeah. to play with. Oh, thank you very much. Daddy. Yeah. You want it back? I'll take it here. Daddy. Yeah. You're holding my torch. Uh, well, I've got to do this as well at the same time, so be, that'd be a bit difficult. And there's one right up the top here to do. Turn on, mate. <clears throat> so undo those, but hold the, the cluster at the same time in case it falls out, okay? Because don't forget you've got your light bulbs in here. I don't know if everyone come with light bulbs, I think it did. There it goes. And then you can slowly retract. Let me bring it around. With that bit undone, you can then retract your cluster and you've got a little tiny clip just here. You just push down on the base of this clip, there's a little tab there, and just remove that clip like so. And there's your light cluster removed. Now you're going to keep hold of that because you've got spare light bulbs in there. <coughs> so you can now get your new cluster. I think I only paid about a tenner for this from uh, my local Scrappy. And then literally just with your cluster, the, the clip goes on the top, that just slides back in into there, make sure it's a good fit. Push all that foam down, and then literally just push the, uh, the cluster back into its housing. Okay, so back on the inside again, um, you've got your three little tiny plastic clips. You've got a brass bit on, the, on one side and a closed cap on the other. Brass bit goes in first, and just find those little tiny um, threads. Do one at a time, just, just nip them down to begin with. Should be one right up here. Spin them up so they're all even. There's one right up here, which is right where you won't see. But I will. I should get it running. There it goes. Run that down. And then do them up because they've got a foam pad on them, see? So they want to be done evenly. And it keeps the water out. Like so and then replace your cover, like so. And that's your, your light cluster now fitted. So let me just get set up, make sure that there's bulbs in there, make sure it all works, I'm back in two ticks. Right, I'm gonna fire the old machine up and uh, we'll test the old lights and what have you. Tower light on, lovely. Indicator working. I'll test the brakes, you can tell me if it works or not. That should be working. I'll watch the video back. And then a reverse light as well. So I'll turn the engine off, but leave the ignition on, stick it into reverse. Just a test for your reverse light. Yep, lovely. That works. And then, uh, one I don't use very often is my fogs. So that one there. Yeah, fog lock works too, lovely. So that all works. So happy with that. So that's how you replace a, a rear light cluster. Um, as I say, the bulbs are in, are in this one. So I'll take these bulbs out and put them into in a little tiny box. So I've got them for future reference just in case. Um, so I need to now have a look at this front dip beam bulb, see what's going on with that. But unlike most conventional cars, you don't need to, to remove all, 
all uh, all this this gubbins here that hasn't got to come out. We got to do is just tip your wheel in on the side that it's um it's gone, and then you come down here and there's a little tiny um, window for you to uh, gain access. Right, with the wheel tipped in uh, up in up in here. Sorry for knocking, but uh, it's a bit limited. There's a little tiny uh, box just here. There's a tab at the bottom and a tab at the top. And reach in and literally just pull them tabs out. Like so. That and then drop this little tiny window out. You can remove the wheel for easier access. That drops out like so. And then that then gives you access directly into the back of the um, the bulb housing to remove it. So you simply reach inside and the light is just right in front of you. And there's a little tiny rubber boot that covers the whole light bulb assembly. That just comes off. There it is there. That stops the water getting in. And then you reach inside with the ignition turned off and you'll feel the bulb inside. Give it a little bit of a twist um, anti-clockwise and literally your light fitting will then just retract and then for the power of God you just take your bulb out okay it's that easy let me go and grab a new bulb so I've got my new bulb that's my old one uh, that's gone and there's my new one and all we're then going to do is reach back inside again grab hold of your wire terminal as I say you might want to remove your um, your your wheel if you find access is too is too tight and then that little tiny plug you literally just fit the bulb back inside very simply and then just reattach your your boot back to the uh, to the back and twi uh, twist your bulb in clockwise and it's done so now, as you can see um, from the front view, I've got the uh, the bowl back in, in its um, in its housing. Just now, going to bring it forward into the uh, the fitting. There's a little tiny hole for you to go into. There it is. You yeah, can see it. And all we're looking for then is just just to put it into place. Make sure it's down flush, and then give it a twist when it's in place, you'll feel it just, just snap all of a sudden, it just could just go into place. It is fiddly. And my hands uh, don't make it don't make it any easier. There, yeah, there it is. Give it a twist. And that's in. Done. So now all you have to do is to put your little cover back on the back and close the cat and close the door. And there you go. Straightforward and simple. So now I've got my side light um, working and my dip beam on both sides and round the back. Both tail lights are working. I've checked all the others. All me, me um, bulb, me um, headlamp bulbs are uh, number plate bulbs are all working. They're all good. So the MOT has just lapsed, uh, lapsed uh, about two days ago, but uh, managed to get it in uh, for Monday morning. So it'll be sat here until uh, the MOT, but hopefully it'll pass. So I'll uh, give you an update on uh, how it does. But uh, hopefully, yeah, it should uh, go straight through. The only other thing that my uh, my car would fail on, on my van at the moment would be screen wash. It's actually out of screen wash because I've been using it quite heavily because it is winter time. If your screen wash is empty, then um, it'll fail on that. It doesn't cost much to have it filled up in a garage, but um, it certainly costs more than what you would be able to buy in a local shop. So I've got five litres of it here. So I'm spilling most of it at the moment because they designed the cap to be stupid. I didn't design it for you to fill it up properly. Could use a funnel, I suppose. 
So fill up your uh, screen wash. Mine was pretty much out. And it is winter time, so it's got a little bit of that anti-freeze in there as well, just to stop it from freezing, because I work nights. Generally, I get my van at half past three, four o'clock in the morning, and uh, it's frozen solid, so put a bit of uh, anti-freeze in there. It just stops your pipes from freezing up. So that's it. Car now ready for MOT, or, or to present it, so all the tyres are good. Um, I only put tyres on it probably about six months ago, so tyres are good. Not concerned about those, um, so it's good to go, I suppose. That was a bit of a clean out, but uh, it, so it, is, uh, it is winter time. All these little bits here, these little, these little runners, that's where it bungs up, and you start to get problems with your, your water going into your, into your cockpit, into your cockpit base. But uh, that's not a, no biggie to clear them out. So yeah, happy. All was good. Uh, water was good as well. That's white on the mark. Super happy. Okay, so that's the old mixed mowers um, mobile now all up and running. Um, all the lights working as it should do, um, and also a back rear cluster now done. And uh, it can be now be presented for MOTs, booked in for Monday. So hopefully um, it'll pass. Uh, I'll let you know in, in another video how it does, but I'm, I'm, I'm suspecting it will pass. It has been niggling at the brakes for the past two or three MOTs, but always seems to go through. So hopefully the brakes will be good. Riley's still um, sporting his Steve Small Engine Saloon um, cap, and he absolutely loves um, his, uh, his torch. He's been uh, whizzing around, lighting things up indoors um, for about the past hour. So he absolutely loves it. Here you go. Uh, so thank you very much, Steve Small Engines, for sending Riley Boy a little parcel. It's very much appreciated. Thank you very much for my bits and bobs as well. If this is your first time in watching Mixed Mows, hit the subscribe button, whack your bell, set notifications to all, ding. That way you'll be told one's on a video or two of them on my satellite wiki live stream, which starts at 6.30 p.m. UK time. I look forward to seeing the next episode of Mixed Mows very, very soon. But until then, people, don't forget, much more importantly, take her easy. <laughs>